guys news day tuesday today's show is all about bird dog bird dog encoders bird dog ptz cameras bird dog ptz cameras for outdoor rated and the bird dog ptz controller all ndi all full ndi ndi all the time that's what we love about bird dog we have a special guest on the show today an old industry friend of ours who's now working with the folks at bird dog don regal don welcome to today's show thank you nice to be here i appreciate it Don, tell us a little bit how you got involved with Bird Dog. Well, Bird Dog really blazed into this market with NDI, uh, full NDI solutions for encoding and decoding and cameras. And in a lot of the other lines that we've worked with over the years, whether they be software, desktop, video uh, editors, NLEs like Vegas, or Canopus capture cards, we always wanted to do production simplified, right? For 20 years now. And this is a, a real sea change in the simplification of production. Uh, what Bird Dog has done, full NDI at affordable prices, less expensive than other cameras that don't even provide full NDI. So it's a real natural solution for us to team up and bring it to the market. Yeah, awesome. Now, the up, Don, we should have showed this video first a little bit about you, but there we say, Bird Dog is the first company in the world to put NDI into a dedicated silicon chip. So one of the big differences between the Bird Dog products and other people's products is, is other people are using software to encode and decode right. the NDI. You guys have put it into firmware. You've done it in conjunction with support, with help from the folks over at New Tech. And we think that Bird Dog is really helping to take NDI to that next level. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think that the latency that you find when you're using a software solution is going to uh, create problems. It could create lag and it affects your video quality. A full hardware-based NDI encoder uh, really is sort of like the standard. You can't do any better than that. And we're the first that ever created it. Much like Canopus, as you mentioned, on the Raptor card, yep. you might remember it had what was called the Sony DVB-K1 yep. uh, DV encoder chip. And this is very much along those lines in that it is a hardware-based encoding process. Cool, guys, if we can bring up the slide too. I want to, uh, let's bring it up side by side with us, that shot. There we go. All right, the first product I want to talk about is this puppy right here. I've got it in my hand. It is now shipping. If you've pre-ordered one from Video Guys, B&H, Amazon, or any Bird Dog reseller, they are shipping now. The Bird Dog NDI PTZ controller. This is the world's first PTZ controller that is fully NDI. Now, we wanted to get this up and running for you for the show, but unfortunately, the stuff arrived here today. We went at it like madmen, but we couldn't get it going, but we still want to have you get a chance to really see how this thing looks. So let's go to the Z cam shot from above, because I really want to talk about some of the things I love about this. First of all, the joystick control is just rock solid. It feels great. You got a lot of levels of usage. I love this, the zoom. Yeah. We've got controllers on here for uh, 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 auto and manual, for white balancing, for locking. These are knobs. We've got the different settings here. This lights up to let you know, you know which camera you're operating and stuff like that. This is a phenomenal product. And I know this probably within the next two weeks, 50 to 100 people are going to get these in their hands because that's how much the demand was yeah. for these with the back order. We're shipping out everyone who back ordered from us. It's a big backlog. Guys, we're really excited about this thing. And this is going to unlock a whole lot. I want to explain to people what's really amazing about this product. And that is, is if you're in an NDI facility with PTZ cameras, hopefully bird dogs for the sake of the discussion here, but it can be any NDI facility. One of the things that you run into is manpower. Mm -hmm. So one of the reasons when you show up with manpower, you go with PTZ cameras because you don't need camera operators. Right. Well, what I could do with this controller is I can have one person in my facility operate every single PTZ controller within that facility. Now, all, I can take a free app like the uh, NDI apps that, yeah. that are out there, or I could be using a TriCaster or a VMix or a, a Wirecast gear, and I can see every camera on the network, and I can control every camera on the network. So now I can have my PTZ operator, doesn't even have to be sitting next to me. Right. He could be in another room working on his own stuff in his own isolation, but meanwhile, let's say I'm a music department in a school and I've got uh, 10 little uh, 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 music rooms with PTZ cameras. I can mm -hmm. have one guy operating them all so the kids can get recorded whenever they need to go out there. Yeah. If I'm doing a sporting event, I can be shooting, I can have one guy operating multiple cameras at a wrestling match that maybe has four or five wrestling mats going on. 
if I'm in a situation where we'll talk about this later, outdoors, I can have cameras mounted in stadiums or now. Or a house of worship, or you have a little chapel room, or you've got some kind of a thing uh, outdoors or indoors. And yeah, like you said, man, getting their hands on it is the key because it's a tactile surface that when you when you feel it and you understand how it's built. You realize the difference, you know, between something that was really thoughtfully built. If we could cut the Z camera, I just want to, I'm just going to put my mic next to it. This is a solid piece of yeah. machinery. This is not a toy. This is a right. nice controller. I love the tactile feel of it. And I promise we're going to get to a show. We're going to show it moving and show the, the beautiful motion that you see with the, the cameras as well. But this is a really well thought out, well engineered, needed product and the right. pre-demand was proof of it and we're, we just think this is going to be a bestseller i would i would be shocked if this isn't the number one two or three not top product the next year when i do my product roundup you know i have photographs of them coming off the assembly line uh, we've got you know uh, customers and, and people that uh, follow bird dog become fans of the company which also reminds me of the Canopus days but we've got pictures of this thing in every stage of development people eagerly awaiting it to be finished product and shipping product, and here we go. We've already got them in, in, on the street now, and another, I think, 80 or so shipping on the 15th. So we're, we're selling them as fast as we can make them. All right, now, what we want to talk about, the most important thing of all, why we're doing this show is, the full Bird Dog product line is in stock. It's shipping. It's here. We're not the only ones who have it. Your retailers, your resellers across the USA. Yeah. I'm only going to speak of the USA now. I'm sure the Europe and the rest of the world is true, but you probably all have these cameras in stock. So we've got four PTC cameras in the family. We've got the P100, the little guy. We've got the P200, the bigger guy. The P200 has been shipping for several months, and it's been one of our best-selling PTC cameras. Folks really love it. The reviews that people are giving this camera is incredible, and it's really a... Uh, coming in there. Then you've got the uh, these two, which is the 200 and the 300. Now the 200 is actually, we're going to take it out of this monitor and show you. It's actually for hanging in a stadium. These are outdoor cameras, all weather rated, uh, are taking this NDI to a whole nother level. I see we have a question and he said, Garland's asking, what's the difference between SDI encoding and NDI? Well, first of all, SDI is not really encoding. SDI is an interface, serial digital interface. It's a way to get video from one point to another. NDI is more than that. It not only gets the video to, let's say, the computer, the mixer, right. it allows you control. It allows you to have the units talk to each other. You get your, uh, uh, what's the thing called when it tells you it's well, the camera is on when I get the red tally. light? Tally. Tally, yeah, there we go, tally. Yeah. You can do comms, you can do all this great stuff. So NDI is a protocol that involves the transfer right. of the video signal plus With all the control communication and everything else. And data. Exactly. So, Don, I know that we want to get into the 200 and the 100. So what we're going yeah. to do right now is I want to bring up the two slides uh, quickly. The P200, that's this one that's been shipping for a while. That's $27.99. Let's call it the mainstay of the Bird Dog PTC camera line. And then they also have the 100 which started shipping, which is now $15.99. So now we've got a $15.99 yeah. camera. We've got a $27.99 camera. Let's cut to the two cameras in here. And Don, why don't you tell us a little bit about what separates these cameras? What makes you want one or the other? Well, uh, there are advantages of NDI that cover both of the cameras, but I think it really depends on where you're going to be using them and what kind of content you're going to be uh, recording. Uh, obviously, the outdoor uh, rating of this camera means that it can... Well, let's just compare the 100 and the oh, 200. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, they both use the Sony sensor. Um, you know, it really has to do with input and output. Uh, the um, the backlight sensor, the Sony imaging sensor, the glass is the same on both. So it really depends on what kind of I/O that you need. And then also we've got that the the one's 10x optical, while the other goes up to I believe uh, 20x. That's right. The, so the zoom capability on it is is uh, is enhanced on the on the larger one. Okay, let's talk a little bit about these big ones now. These are the big babies, and this is what's about this. So Don. I want you to put your pen down. I want you to pick this puppy up. This is the Eyes 200. Well, picking it up is a little bit of a job because and this we're both sucker weighs this about correct. 45 pounds. Or this something. is designed to be hanging from a mount in like a stadium like this as an all-weather mount. So this is something you would mount, let's say, by the left field flagpole or in center right. field or behind the goalposts or on a cruise game. ship. <laughs> well, exactly. This is a real heavy, this is an industrial product. Make no mistake about it. 
And uh, Don, if you could put that over there, I'm going to put this off to the side now because it's just a little too heavy for me. Yeah. I'm about. You want me to put it over where? <laughs> I'm going to put it right down here. Okay. Cool. Oh, watch, stepped on my cord. Yeah. I have it. up. Lift. Uh, uh, lift. Cool. All right. So the Eyes 200 is basically their first full NDI Sony CMOS backlit center, backlit center, Sony image module, gorgeous smooth movement and low latency. And low latency is something we're going to talk about a little bit later in the show, because when we really start, we're going to go a section where we compare NDI, HX, yeah. and full NDI, and we're going to talk about the latency there. I want to talk about these cameras. The camera is corrosive resistant. It's rated to whatever that HD Q795 uh, outdoors, I, IP67. IP67, right. yes. You were you're born. <laughs> I'm a little older than that, unfortunately. But these are in stock as well. And one of the things I want to share with you is we have people like Major League Baseball, the yeah. NFL, right. NBA, and NFL, teams, uh, teams, teams throughout the country looking at these, evaluating these, they're looking at them for both their stadiums as well as their practice facilities. Yep. A lot of people are realizing in these pro sports that, hey, NDI is a great way that I can bring a full video production kit right. without the cost of a production truck like it is to you know, do the full show. And they're doing it. Also, what they're doing is what we call like the green room extra stuff via NDI mixing. So maybe they're streaming from those cameras right. and stuff like that as Anywhere well. Anywhere you have a network connection, uh, you're good to go. Uh, you know, one thing about the A200 that's, that's, that tends to be the one that's most talked about, the feature most talked about, is the smooth operation and fast focus on it. Uh, there's no kind of jump to the movement. There's no sort of like gets to a, uh, a zoom focus and there's a pause you know, before or after. There's smooth action and smooth focus. And as you're saying, sporting you know, facilities, I can remember with, when the new tech stuff came out, people were outfitting trucks for high school sports. Right. And now all of a sudden we're talking to you know, uh, I don't want to name names of professional teams, but they're out there. They're, yeah, indeed. So this uh, is all weather outdoor NDI camera with Sony sensor and Sony glass is really kind of like the Cadillac or even beyond of uh, of what's available in the market anywhere. Now, when we talk about the motion, I want to try to explain what we're talking about is a lot of the cameras that are out there. Uh, and this is uh, the bird dog camera. Uh, the, the cameras that are out there for the most part, which were PTZ cameras that were used with NDI, were based on security cameras. Mm -hmm. So they weren't developed to have video production smooth movement. The movement was more like an etch a sketch. So if I wanted yeah. to go from one corner of the screen to the other, I had to do it like this. And what they got was they got better and better with smaller and smaller steps. There were mm. still steps. Yeah. What we're getting now because of the Sony and the Panasonic as a video thing is very fluid operation, yeah. especially when combined with a joystick controller like we see on the PTZ controller from, from, PT, from uh, Bird Dog. So that's really cool. Next, I want to jump over to this puppy right here. This is the A300. I think we've got a shot that we can focus in on it because one of the things I want to talk about the A300 that a lot of people get confused with is it looks like it's got two lenses on it. Right. But that's not true. One lens is a camera lens. The other actually fires a laser to help you yeah. focus, fast focus. And that's one of the reasons why this product is coming in at the price where it is. This is really intended for high action, high, you know, grade, outdoor, industrial. This is for, like you said, not just a cruise ship. This is for a stadium. This is for a the an outdoor <sighs> amphitheater. This is for a... Uh, uh, an observation area of an outdoor theater. You know, this is really amazing what this yeah. product could do. And you know, at seventy four ninety five, no, it's not for everyone. But if you're doing this industrial level video, this is just really something you want to look at. And yeah. once again, all these products are NDI, but they still support SDI HDI the old fashioned way. Sure. What we like about NDI is through that same one Ethernet cable, I get control. I get. Uh, the ability to do comms so I can right. talk to someone on the field. I get the ability to do uh, tally. And it's just, it's a two-way communication port that's very different than just the old days of just running a video cable in. I don't have to run a separate Visca cable now. These outdoor units, folks, require power. Yes, And because right. they're outdoors, we're not going to put, and, and we're talking about weather where it could be raining, we got to be careful with that mm -hmm. power. So there are power adapters available for this. And if you see, I'm going to pick this up over here so you can see is, this big heavy piece of cable, th this is really more about power than about anything else over here, folks, because we got to make sure that we've got this thing, you know, hooked up and accessorized right. So 
just so you know, the, 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 the unit itself doesn't come with that power cable. That's something you order extra. That's right. We're, we don't want to assume what our customers are going to need, so we provide them options for that. But it's funny that you were talking about different categories of customers. Uh, I heard the other day that the average person is videotaped 20 times during the day, just going about your business, your errands, whatever. So what are the markets you know, for cameras, not just these, but cameras like these and NDI in general? The market isn't really a market, it's more of like an economy. I mean, it's, it's the entire range of military, law enforcement, sports, house of worship, education. I did like the, mental, the visual image you gave me of the 10 uh, little classrooms of children learning music. And, that was a nice. That was a nice one. I'd, uh, but you know, these these cameras are going to be scooped up and used in all kinds of places, and with our Comms Pro and the other software solutions, and I think AI coming uh, soon in the future, which will help to uh, automated uh, visual identification. We're going to be living in, in new times here very very right, soon. So now you brought up something that we're going to go off on the tangent, folks. So and that is is. I love the technology I sell. I love that I'm selling technology that's moving the world forward. I hate the fact that I know this technology at some point will be able to get into the wrong hands and be used for no good. And basically, where I'm getting at is with this AI that Don's talking about, will come image recognition, yeah. will come living in a society where everyone knows who you are, and yes, if you had one of these hooked up to the right AI in every street corner of Manhattan, we would know we would be completely under surveillance, we'd be in a surveillance world, and I don't want to see that. So hmm. I'm thinking of these products, let's stick on the focus yeah. of video production lip, 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 and lip, producing lip. creativity. And well, it might get used for law enforcement or something like that someday. I, I don't want to go down that road. That's one of the things that leaves me kind of queasy. So we're going to say, yes, you know, we know you think it can go there and you're right, but uh, let's not do that. So, My bad. <laughs> all right. Well, Next, I want to get to the part of the show that's a little bit of a technology thing here now. If we could get to me and Don to talk about it a little bit, and that is, is there's full NDI and there's NDI HX. Let's let's right. talk about the differences between those two a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, they're both, uh, NDI HX is a subset of NDI, and they were both created, uh, or rather NDI was created by Dr. Cross at New Tech. Yes. And the I guess the idea was is that not everyone was going to need the full spec that's available in NDI, which we've already talked about, which includes latency, and quality image and hardware and software, uh, excuse me, hardware-based encoding. They figured that, well, we're leaving some of the market out that doesn't necessarily uh, want to get into full NDI. So why don't we come up with an NDI light, if you want to call it that. So it's NDI HX. And, you know, I don't, I'm not a new tech guy. And I, so I'm not here, you know, to, to try to explain exactly what, the, what their idea was behind it, other than my take on it is, is that it is a less expensive way to get in to network distribution of video uh, with a caveat that there's going to be some processing required. Well, that's exactly it is. is uh, they're both full NDI. The video images look great either way. The big difference becomes the latency. Right. The latency of NDI HX is caused by the fact that it's a more compressed image, so it has to be decompressed and, and, and compressed when you're working with it. So NDI HX uses less bandwidth, but it puts more toil, more, more stress on the head-end right. unit. So what we do with NDIHX, and we're big fans of it, is, is depending on the computer you're going into, be it a TriCaster, uh, or you, you rolled your own vMix, or maybe it's a Wirecast or Wirecast gear, you can overwhelm that processor, the computer that's in there, sure. and have some issues with your show. So NDIHX, we love it, two or three cameras, great. When you're gonna try to scale out to being a lot more cameras, that's where full NDI really comes in because now what's happening is, is yeah, you're using more bandwidth for the full signal, but you're not having to put any stress on the computer to decode it because it's coming in as an easier signal to handle. So what we find is when you scale out to bigger opportunities, of which we've seen some bird dog installs where there's 10, mm -hmm. 30, 40, 50, 100 bird dog devices, they're working with the full NDI. And just right. under NDI HX, that wouldn't be possible. You need like a supercomputer to be working the whole thing. So that's the biggest difference we see. What we want to talk about is something that we brought up in the past on previous shows, which was we used to warn people not to mix NDI and NDI HX. Well, I'm happy to say that with the latest version of 
NDI 4.0 and the latest TriCaster version 7.0, that's really not an issue anymore. They figured yeah. out a way to make him play better together. So we're taking down that warning, but we'll still tell you on NDIHX, you know, keeping a few NDIHX cameras, you're gonna be good when you got a scale bigger, you want the full NDI and latency is important. You know, if you're doing sporting events or something like that, you can't be off by a split second. Those cameras got to be right on spot. Yeah, that's true. And latency, yes, but then also, again, you have to have a baseline of your environment. How many can, if it's HX, how many can I put out there before it's putting too much processing load, you know, on your back end system? Exactly. And it's be really hard to have that same answer for everybody because depending on the environment and the facility, number of cameras, it's a different it's a it's a moving target every time. NDI, full NDI solves that. There is no moving target. We have a baseline. That 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 is very correct. Let's talk about the original Bird Dog products, the Bird Dog Studio NDI and the Bird Dog Mini. These are products that were originally designed as encoders. You would take HDMI or HDMI and SDI and put right. it into one of these devices from your camera, and now you'd hook this up via a single Ethernet port, and now you'd bring it into your mixer that sure. was NDI compatible as well. Great way to go, single cable. This has uh, comms through it now. Right. It also gives you a uh, nice LED reader. Tally gives you the ability, you, you know, the, the two-way control. It's a two-way surface, with two-way communication, which I love, very cool. Well, the guys at Bird Dog said, ah, you know, we're not we're, we're encoding. That's too easy. We're going to mm. decode also. So what they do, there's do encoding and decoding, which means that I can take one of these puppies and I could fire up a monitor. Yeah. Or I could be bringing a signal from across the facility via well, hey, name simple your, Ethernet on right? my network. Name your and now I can have the video coming into a non NDI mixer, like an off the shelf, sure. say, Roland mixer right. or something the, like that. You know, so the Roland HD mixer. Very right. cool. So Bird Dog Mini's at four ninety five. The Bird Dog Studio NDI is at six ninety five. These are in stock, ready to go, and they're Fantastic products, you can mix and match them. And once again, these bird dog products, everything you see here today are all full NDI and they all work great with each other. One of the things that we want to talk about that we've mentioned several times is bird dog has added comms pro. Now with comms pro, and this is the, the headset for comms pro, why don't you put that on, oh, on? you can yeah, see our sure I will. studio model. Hmm. Have these been sterilized? <laughs> Comms Pro is just what it sounds like. It's a communications tool that works with NDI through your bird dog devices. So let me just get a sip because I'm choking. What you can basically do is, can we bring this up full screen because I think so, so people can see the, the image right here. You get to see what the camera is shooting, be it the PTZ camera or the camera that's attached to the right. studio. And now I can communicate and let the guys go through a visual interface as the person running the whole show to say, hey, John, on camera seven, you know, yeah. get that close up. Or Bob, we're going to you next. Right. You know, comms is just a tool on how you communicate with your production staff, how the person, the director, or the producer of the show is going to let the people behind the cameras know what shot's coming and where to go and what to do. And we like that the comms is also with the PTC cameras because Sometimes you don't need to talk to the PCC camera operator, but you might just have someone on that side of the building you want to be in communication with, and maybe that guy's just saying, hey, cue the next talent person right. to go on. You know, it doesn't always have to be a camera operator. Comms can be anyone in the production. The beauty is, is every PTC camera that's a bird dog camera becomes a point where you can plug a headset and, into and it's and still over in a computer network. And it's all NDI, so that's super duper cool, and we love that. All right. Let's go back to these two cameras. So I want to go a little more in depth on these two, the 200 and the 100. The 200 is 2799. It's our best selling bird dog PTZ camera. It's been out there for a while. The P100 is a lot less money. And a lot of people are going to be tempted to say, hey, I'm just going to get that camera, you know, and we say that's great if that's the camera you want. But th there's a reason why this one's a little bit, a little bit better. This one does have superior optics. It does have the superior mechanical mo motion in it. Right. It really is the big dog daddy. It's, the IOs are pretty much the same. They're NDI and they're HDMI and they're SDI. What really makes them different is the fact that one's a, just a much better camera than the other. So you don't always need that level of camera sophistication. Right. And that's why it's great that they have an inexpensive camera. But the, the, the camera that's really, to me, if, not everyone's got $2,000 for a PTZ camera. Mm -hmm. 
Some people don't even have $1,500, but if you're scratching for $1,500, this is a great camera to get and a great value. But if you can afford to go to the $2,799 camera, this camera really is the, it is a great camera for the money for the price point. Yeah. And there are other cameras available which are less expensive on the market. There are other cameras available in the that are a lot more expensive. This one hits the sweet spot, gives you the performance, and really knocks it out of the park. Right, and you know, uh, when you asked me that question before, uh, you know, I, I think I should have, have mentioned about the, the, the quality, the image quality, but one, one point to, to keep in mind is, we're talking about an image quality on either one of them that's outstanding. So, uh, it's sort of a subjective thing, you know, if you are going to uh, want to be uh, putting it on a, on a scope, and measuring levels and, and analyzing the video, you can have at it all day long. Uh, there are some examples of both, but it's not as if one's like consumer grade and the other is not. I think in, in both cases, the, uh, the image quality is, is pretty fantastic. No, absolutely. I just wanted to stress that, you know, there is a reason why this one carries Oh, premium. indeed, right, yes. And then the mechanics is another a, a big uh, point that you, you mentioned, is yep. the, the, uh, the motors and the pieces and parts. Don, thank you for coming on the show. Oh, my pleasure. I, I, if you look at this graphic, it says it all. It's creating a complete NDI workflow. All the products you see in this graphic are shipping. They're available. They're in stock now. We've got the Bird Dog Mini, the Bird Dog Studio, the P100Is, the P200Is, the A300Is, the A200Is, the A300Is, and the PTZ NDI controller, baby. They're all available, all shipping now. Don, thank you so much for oh, being on the pleasure. show. We loved having you here. I want to go over what shows we have coming up because it's really exciting. What do we have coming up? Next week, we're going to do our top 10 products. Uh, just want to say that unfortunately, this product did not ship in time to make it for 2019. This makes it the first product Jeez. eligible Thanks for a lot, 2020. Man. Oh, yeah, okay. We're also going to do a show with the folks at Lucina to talk about their rugged SSD to put that in the spotlight. A really cool small SSD that hits some great price points. And on the fourth, we're going to do an Ask the Video Guys. And Ask the Video Guys is a show that's getting some traction done. It's where we just take questions that come up from our people during the show ask us mm -hmm. questions. People email us, chat on the phones. And also we kind of, when we have something that goes not so great, we bring it up on our show too. So one of the things that we're going to do on the Ask the Video Guys, we're going to teach people about how a two-channel mixer often just does left and right. It's not really mixing two mics as a traditional mixer. And if you forget that, you can get yourself in a panic sometimes. So we'll work that as a question next time. Don, thank you so much for being on the show. Are My there pleasure. any last words you have for the folks at home? Well, I want to thank the crew for putting together a nice show for us. And thank you for your hospitality. And I guess the only thing I want to say is I'm glad to be back at Video Guys one more time in 20 plus years. And peace. Peace. <laughs> Uh, video guys is available Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos and don't forget to